David, you're in the final 10. What's going through your mind right now? I just made the final 10 of the WPT Championships. Tomorrow we play down to six. I think I'm in fourth position with two and a half million. Average is about two, a little less. Uh, right now I'm actually a little disappointed. I know I should be happy, but I came in with 2.1 and, and I chipped up with no pot losses. I mean, it was just everything I touched I won. And I got up to about, you know, two and a half. And then Frost Jaka, I kind of cooled him when I made Broadway against a set of aces. And that shot me up to 4.4. And then uh, I stayed there and floated for a while. Lost a few pots to uh, John O'Shea down to about three. Climbed back up to 3.9, was feeling good, and we were still at 11 handed. And then I just played a hand really bad against Scotty, and uh, I had two tens. He called my raise, and it came 9.86. I bet out, and he raised me. And I didn't take my time, and I moved all in, and, and he had what I expected a set of nines. And had I thought about it, when Scotty raises me, there's no hand I'm really beating there that Scotty's going to raise me with. That's going to play out like that. I should have just thrown, thrown it away, and I'd still have 3.5 million. Olivier Bosquet busted a few minutes later, and the day's over. So I'm kind of on a low note right now because I got two and a half instead of, I feel like I should have three and a half. And I'm not mad because of the luck or I don't feel like anything like that. I'm more mad at myself because I'm, I'm good enough and I'm playing well enough to know that I should have just folded the tens when Scotty raised me to 300,000. Yeah, you cashed at Mohegan Sun and here you are in the top ten. Has something changed in your game? Well, the Mohegan Sun, I made the, made the money. I, I went deep there and then kind of went cold on day three and, and I'm in the money here again. You know, I think, it helped. I mean, I've been working with Sam Chow Han, mindset coach, and he's really helped me just learn to stay positive and, and have a lot of positive energy and, and keep myself focused and not self-destructive. I mean, I do a lot of things where things upset me and I self-destruct, you know, I'll get upset. I'm like, like the hand with Scotty, we, I lost that pot and had the day continued, I'm not gonna tilt or steam off about it anymore. Because I am thankful I'm still in and have chips and I know that the goal is still in sight and just because I lose one pot, it's gonna happen. So it's really kind of helped me to keep a clear head, stay focused, stay positive, and, and not self-destruct, which is amazing. Was Scotty's playing today, you know, throughout the day, a factor in your decision in that last hand? You know, the last hand, and it's not just how Scotty played today. I mean, me and Scotty have a history of, of mutual respect, I would call it. I mean, we've played with each other a lot, and it's not that we soft play each other, but we don't really mess around with each other. We know where we are at all times. If one of us re-raises the other, we have it. You know, he doesn't bluff me. He's never bluffed me in years. I've never bluffed him. And for a while, there was a few years where I wouldn't believe him, just like now. And I stick it in, and he'd show me, you know, aces, kings all the time. And I got to thinking, why do I, why do I mess with this guy? I mean, when, he, when, he, when we get in these pots, he has it, and he knows, and he makes some big laydowns to me. So it doesn't go. It's not just today. I mean, it's just a, it's just Scotty, and it's our history. And I should have really known better and played better. But I still got two and a half million for tomorrow. So at the table next to you, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Phil Helmuth doubled up a player, and he was furious. When you lost that hand to Scotty, you, you seem like you took it pretty calmly. Is that because it was Scotty, or is that just your mindset, Coach? Yeah, no, I mean, it's kind of funny you mentioned that Phil Helmuth, how he took doubling up baseball deep versus how I took doubling up Scotty. And you, But the funny thing is both of us have the same mindset, Coach, and we both work with them. But, uh, you know, I think it's just my whole way of looking at things. I mean, I always just try to look at the bright side and stay calm and realize there's still time. But, I mean, there also there's a big difference in that Phil's only left with 800000 and I still have $2.5 million too. So that, you know, that's a big difference. So I, I feel for Phil. I feel bad for him. I know it's a pretty sick situation he was put in. Who's, who's in the top six? Call it. Uh, the final six. I think it's going to be David Benjamin and myself, Billy Baxter, uh, Eric Basebaldi, that's four, Scotty Wynn, and then Sean Buchanan. All right. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you.